So we finally got the barn find XYGT back to our showroom at Pink and Bar. We'd just like to give a little bit more of a look around it. Now this car was sold new by the Ford Motor Company after they'd used it for 12 months to a Brisbane guy who worked for the Ford Motor Company. He then drove the car for about 12 or 16 months and sold it on. The current owner bought it in around 1972 and parked it up around 1976. So Gray's, we actually went and pulled the car out of underneath his house. Now, if you haven't seen that video, click on the link above and follow the story. Now let's have a look around the car and I'll show you some little bits and pieces to make the car super original and untouched since new. So looking under the bonnet, it's still got the original Ford factory fitted battery terminals, the dual horns, the compliance plates have never ever been off the vehicle, original shaker top, now the little extension's still in the boot, uh, things like the chassis number still stamped in the radiator right support, so that's still the original radiator right support panel. Just little bits and pieces like that just prove what a, an original untouched car it is. Uh, it has got the factory engine matching numbers. Um, body number stamped on top of the tower, which matches to the, uh, to the plate. So everything about the car is correct. What I do love about this GD Falcon is it, in the condition of the interior. That is the original dash pad, and it's uh, not cracked. It's in perfect order. It's still nice and soft and pliable. All the dash is complete. The XY GT steering wheel, they usually crack down the bottom here. Well, this one's not cracked at all. Uh, it's dirty and it's dusty and it needs a clean. All the console's all original. Now, if you look at the seats, there's a bit of mould or dirt on them, but I've just got a bit of cleaning stuff here. If you look at that, you just give it a wipe over and underneath, they're like brand new. Look at that, I cannot believe how good these seats are coming up. So it just shows you the factory original trim is still in very, very good order. It just needs a good detail. In fact, if you bought the car and we're going to restore it, I don't think you'd touch the interior, you'd just clean it and leave it original because original is always the, the most popular with collectors. Inside the boot's the same. I wouldn't touch the boot or the engine bay or the interior, but obviously on the outside, the paintwork does need a bit of attention. Now, I know I just keep going on about this, but the, the condition of this trim, like you look at this with a little bit of a wipe and a clean, like look at that, look how good it's coming up. It's just. The car is in great condition. Forget about buying replacement door trims and all that sort of stuff. This car just needs a really, really good clean. Now, the same can't be said for the exterior. Now, a few people have asked what's happened to the doors on the car. They look like they've had repairs. I just spoke to Clive, the original owner, this morning, and he told me back in the early 70s, he was parked in a taxi in Brisbane, backed into him, and the doors were repaired. A few other people have said, is it rusty on the inside? Because in some of the photos, it looks like the sills are rusty. But if you come down and have a look, that's not rust, that's actually wasp nests built up there. In fact, underneath that, they're absolutely perfect. The cleaners here are gonna love me for dropping all this dirt on the floor, but I just wanted to show you that, that that's nice and original and dry, same as the insides of the doors. And the car's still wearing its original 1979 Queensland, Road, uh, Queensland registration sticker. Now that was the last sticker Clive put on the car, but he actually kept the car registered till 1996. So the car sat all those years and just kept paying the reg on insurance on it. And as you've probably noticed, it's got Ford rally wheels on the front, and these are the two for the rear of the car. They're not holding air, so it's got other mags on it, but it has got a full matching set. Now these were an option through the Ford Motor Company back in the day, and being a Ford car, they optioned with these wheels on it. So that's just something a little bit different, a little bit special. But in the boot, this is what I really like. If you have a look in the boot here, that is an, the original Ford boot mat. Now it's still in very, very good order. There's a tiny little split in it just there, but completely original boot mat, which is super rare these days. Heaps of little parts and bits and pieces. That's a snorkel off the shaker. And here, is the original jack and wheel brace in the vinyl cover from the day, colour coded to the car. So it really is a time warp, um, and I'm glad all those little bits and pieces are with the car because it just makes it so much easier for a restoration. But uh, inside the boot's all good. Um, up around here, there's no rust. This is just, again, dirt, dirt and nest. It's very, very tidy and very, very dry in the boot area. And the other thing I'd like to show you, see how well that closed, amazing little car of that age. Look at this. No sag, no worn out hinges. Closes beautifully. 
So there you have it. It's just a completely original, unrestored XY GT Falcon, which as we discussed, is the most popular and collectible cars in Australia. So as you can probably tell by now at Greys, we are very, very passionate and we really do love going and finding these cars, digging them out or whatever. So if you've got something like this at home, even if you don't want to sell it, drop us a line or, or put a comment in because we'd love to come and have a look at it and do a story on it.